industry technology. Hey, America! What up? Welcome to the geekiest podcast and video. Joining you for our fifth week on the YouTubes and on the iTunes and Android podcasts. This week we have a very special guest, one of our good friends, Mr. Joel Bibbler. Hey guys, thanks for having me. We are glad to have any guests we can have, especially you. You're Jeez. a very smart person and bring a certain level of uh, intellect that we normally don't have here. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> I, I make no promises. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're going to run through a wee little bit of news from this past week coming up. Uh, before I forget, I don't think I made a note of it. Um, I think it was this morning, which is if you're listening to this, we are recording this Sunday afternoon. So this morning, or Sunday morning, uh, Oliver Sacks, the uh, writer, uh, neuroscientist, uh, big music guy, um, he passed away this morning. And he was really big in like the science and the NPR and the Nova. He was featured through that a lot. Wrote a lot of books. The uh, like yeah, I've the seen science of music, a lot of literature, and music yeah. section. And he was basically just an all-around badass. Um, I think he competed in some like bodybuilding and weightlifting what? competitions. Rode his motorcycle throughout England, the world, everything. He was basically like the scientist version of Christopher Lee. Sweet. So was, Renaissance man. Yeah, pretty much. And he was awesome. And he passed away this morning at age 83, I believe. All right, uh, going forward from that, we got uh, The Force Awakens got a new trailer. Not new trailer. Uh, yeah. The new uh, Yeah, the tease. new footage. I was like even still thinking about the poster like three, from last week. Three extra seconds of new footage, but they're an important three extra seconds. Have you guys seen it? Yeah. Everybody watched it? I saw it. I haven't seen it yet, but... I know that. Okay, so we know we uh, last time we talked about Star Wars stuff. We talked about Strizan with the poster that he made for D twenty three, and now it had Finn uh, with the lightsaber. So that was news, right? So the teaser that the you guys remember the first trailer where it showed Kylo Ren like in like the snow field or whatever, and he throws the saber out and then it turns into a broadsword saber. So you see that, but then like right after that, you see Finn standing in the distance, turns on the lightsaber. Oh, yeah, I saw the the stills from that. Oh, I did. And so, then I think we yeah. we discussed kind of like some I guess some theories that you had heard. Yeah, because that's know. Luke's old lightsaber. Yeah, his first lightsaber from that he was holding whenever Vader cut off his hand in Cloud City. That no. Went, mm. it's like, how did they find that? Who found it? And how did they? How did these guys come to get it? Or is that, I, honestly, I think that's like what a lot of the story is going to revolve around. Well, there's a cool theory just from that foot, because they also showed uh, What's Your Face with BB-8, like on some kind of forest plant, and there's like a big theory about how that's indoor, and how the same scene with Kylo Ren is also somewhere on indoor, because remember that first like actual trailer, and you see somebody's got like that beat up uh, Vader's like mask? Yes. Oh yeah, yes. So there, there's a theory where like he's going, he, Kylo Ren goes to indoor, to like grave dig because they that's where he burnt vader at the end of oh really so there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of speculation that there's a lot of stuff going to go down indoor which kind of makes sense because they've all but confirmed that uh uh what's his name wicket whoever what's his, what's his real name uh it's not kenny baker um God, what's his name kenny baker's r2 warwick davis warwick davis it's all but confirmed that he's in the movie uh, okay so cool. unless he's riding around the Falcon, it's like he's part of the crew now or whatever. <laughs> he plays a lot of like the little, the smaller characters. Right. There, there's like a there's a big theory that Wicket's actually in there. Oh, that's cool. So that kind of puts that's more precedence to the fact that that stuff's on indoor. Fan theories are fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, yeah they're, they're cool, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, going, keeping it kind of sci-fi. Um, there's probably, possibly a Galaxy Quest TV series that's going to. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't really know anything about it other than I think it's pretty much greenlit. I oh um, don't know what the original cast is going to be on it, if any of the original writers or anything. I, I don't know any of that. haven't delved that far into it yet, but it's pretty much a sure deal that's coming. I love that movie so much. It's, it's <laughs> so it's good. It's one of the like, best spoofs and send-offs to Star Trek that's ever yep. been made. And it totally, make, it totally it works, and it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. 
It's so it'd be cool, it'd be, it'd be like cool if they got. Uh, I was hey because the, the way that the movie ended, like they started the show back up. So like, what else could happen? Right. No. Yep. They did like a, they did. Uh, I fell way behind on it, but they did do a, um, a oh, comic there for a little yep. bit. That might still be going on. No, if it is or not, and that kind of takes place right after the movie, which is kind of neat. Yep, that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. But I mean, what what the hell is Tim Allen doing these days? I mean, he could totally do it, right? No, oh, yeah, I would hope so. He's just sitting around until it's time for the Toy Story. I love Tim Allen. <laughs> he had the uh, the um, sitcom on ABC. Was yeah, Last Man Standing. Oh, really? Right. right? That's, that's Lindsay and I love that show because it's like old humor. It's like this probably yep. shouldn't be on anymore. It's like really kind of right and red and a little bit like too much and so it's just like uh, they probably should be saying this on TV. Kind of the, uh, he's kind of the Archie Bunker then. Yeah. You know, all well, of I mean, family. But, but it's not even that bad. It's just like the humor that we grew up with that's yeah. now unacceptable. Oh, in right, right. popular yeah. culture and yeah. PC culture and all that kind of stuff. Which, I mean, some people can get offended about it or whatever, but if it's funny, it's funny. Mm. It's comedy. And it's still funny. That's right. Which, uh, um, Last Man Standing always kind of reminded me of a uh, home improvement, but with just daughters instead of sons. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and he works in the uh, mm-hmm. works in the, the outdoor place. Yeah. And he does a podcast instead of a show. Mm-hmm. You know, he has a show still. So. I, mean, I gotta get up on the show. Oh, it's on. Uh, it's on <laughs> I've only seen a couple episodes, but so I never really got it. It's on it. Netflix. Whenever I'm just I like, enjoyed what I saw. Just I refer to something on. Then he like own like a Bass Pro Shop esque thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a big he grills, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I like Tim Allen too. And like the son-in-law is like a total hippie. That's like the whole thing. It's just yeah. like him hating this hippie son-in-law, mm-hmm. and he's like a red right dad. You know, it's just hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And actually, a lot of times it kind of reminds me of like my dad and me, because <laughs> so he's pretty much Tim Allen in that show, and I'm kind of like the son, or more like the son than Tim hippie? Allen. I mean, not hippie, just more liberal and left-leaning. Okay, you're not hippie. I'm not hippie. I think probably a lot of people around here would relate to that. Yeah. You know. For sure. All right, moving on. Uh, we got uh, Michael Fassbender. The they Fassbender. showed him in full costume for the Assassin's Creed movie. Which is cool, because I totally keep forgetting that that's a thing. And then when I they know. show stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't hear anything about it for a while. And then you see it again, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. He's a completely <laughs> new character in it. It's not related to any of the games. So that, it's kind of like a Disney, just like... Oh, it's Disney? No, no, no. I mean, like how Disney didn't relate any of their new Star Wars properties to the old, okay. like, legacy material, and just kind of started fresh. Well, this isn't wiping the old Assassin's Creed stuff out, but it's completely outside of everything that's come well, before. That, you know, that's one of the actually. I, I mean, I, I get burnt out on that series over the years. I really like the Pirates one. I mean, you and me talk about yeah. that stuff a lot. Sure. But the premise is so open for all these other stories where it oh, doesn't yeah. have to be like this one guy going into Abstergo and going into the Matrix and finding his ancestors. Anybody else can use it too and that's what was so cool about uh, that Liberation game they had in the Vita where you play as a girl. Mm-hmm. So you, she goes back and then she's, you know, that's a whole other story so you can have all these different people exploring yeah. all these different stories. So they don't have to necessarily follow the line open. of the games. They yeah. can do whatever they want really. Definitely wide open. And I mean just the fact that you can go back at any point in history and you know, kind of relive that whole thing. Yeah. Wide open for whatever. Yeah, I tend to forget how cool that is because the, the, all, the games are all the same. And then every now and then they're a little bit different. And yeah. they're, and, and this one is Assassin's Creed with a boat. Yeah. <laughs> I got burned out after three. Which is okay because it's pirates and that's totally justified. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, next uh, we got uh, Shovel Knight Amiibo. Yes. Was announced. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Amiibos are... Shovel Knight is an indie side-scroller throwback game that was originally on the Wii U, and I think it's now on PS. It's on. It's on everything now. Yeah. Uh, it's, but it came out on the Wii U first. It's like uh, I think like old school Mega Man uh, with old school like uh, what's it? The Ghouls and Ghosts was that the one? Yeah. With Sir, yeah, with Sir yeah. whatever face is where mm-hmm. he get hit and his his he armor falls off. Yeah, yeah, he loses yeah. armor and stuff. It's just a great like throwback homage to all those old school games that were harder than balls and had all these different like bosses that you had to fight. Uh, the soundtrack is amazing. Um, oh, awesome. That's good that Nintendo is kind of throwing out their third party licensing for Amiibo stuff. That's all. Yeah. If, if anything uh, like that deserved that, uh, it's Shovel Knight, and because that game is super rad. I think they're putting it out on a disc too, so you don't have to, you know if you can't download it, they're gonna have like the whole physical 
the copy deal with it. So that would be neat. And, uh, Captain America's and uh, Iron Man's teams got got announced. Yeah, got revealed. Yeah. 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 He's I, on what I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet. I saw a lot of articles yeah. about it, but I, you know how I'm, you know you know you guys know how weird I am about like watching anything before. Yeah. I well, I'm the same movie, way. You know? with, uh, I think it was especially not necessarily leaked, but I mean some like promo artwork or um, like concept art got leaked because I don't think it was an actual an official announcement for Marvel. What I did see that made. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of the same way with you though, because like I, I haven't seen Avengers two. I didn't see Ant Man, mm-hmm. and like we already talked about how I felt like there was a couple moments where I was like I didn't understand anything that was going on because the way that awesome universe works is every now and then they'll hint at something they've already done. But since I didn't see Avengers two, I didn't get it. Right. So yeah. this pretty much being another Avengers movie with all these characters it, in it, I'm kind of like yeah. I I don't really want to see too much before uh, Age of Ultron comes out that way I can watch it, and then I'll probably start like delving into the stuff that they leak. Um, there was this really awesome uh, meme that I saw on there, where they had they showed the shots of the one side, and then it showed uh, J. Jonah from the last Spider-Man movies. Uh, what's what's his name? The guy that plays J. Jonah Jameson. I know you're talking about J.K. Simmons. JK Simmons. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it shows, yeah. it, shows awesome. it shows one side, and it has a picture of him. It says, <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's got one side, it's picture of him. It says crap, and then it has the other picture of the other team. It says crap. <laughs> and, it has a, and it says the whole, it has the whole, the whole team's together like crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Show me pictures of Spider Man because <laughs> he's not in the pictures. <laughs> so, That's awesome. <laughs> <I gotta> really... <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Get me pictures of Spider Man. Damn it! <laughs> like uh, the last thing that I was uh, gonna bring up was uh, oh, well, just mentioning um, Jesse Quick got cast for uh, the Flash on the CW. Uh, she's the female speedster. I don't think she's related to any of them, but she's like the female speedster in the Flash, quote unquote, family. Speed Force. So that's cool. Um, Fear of the Walking Dead debuted at 10.1 million, Yo, which was apparently yeah. record breaking for AMC. And uh, last but not least for me was uh, Donnie Yen oh, took a yeah. picture of some stormtrooper and some, uh, it looked like, uh, Empire. So oh, I didn't see that. There, the picture uh, is. Like if we had this table, and we put three different helmets on it, sitting next to each other. Oh, oh no, 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 no! I did see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay, yeah. So we'll, we'll throw it up. We're, I, I think I've got it saved on here, so we'll throw it up on. From what I remember, right there's one that looks like a straight up like a stormtrooper. Yeah, it's, um, it's the, and it's the old school stormtrooper yeah. because this is taking place during the original trilogy. And then there's one. I, if I remember, there's one that looks like a, a pilot's, mm-hmm. and then I think a, a sand trooper. Well, it looked. Kind of like a mix between and the, the black pilot helmet and like an indoor helmet. Yeah, yeah, that's like what the big. Yeah, what the yeah the the scout scout troopers dome piece on it where it has like we got binoculars on built in a helmet. Awesome. No. Yeah, dude, this movie's gonna rule. It was totally cool. Really <laughs> I'm <was, laughs> super pumped for all of the Star Wars stuff, and I'm. As I said, I can't talk about anymore. Like I said, last, really last time, man, it's such a good idea, dude. That's all I have. On, on the Star Wars, um, Bert and I talked about this a little earlier this week. Uh, in Rogue One, it looks like they're gonna they were they released the cast right right and there was uh, a name that popped up from the older movies. I don't know. Forgot about that. Yeah, I kept trying to remember what you were talking about, and I kept forgetting. Yeah, about. yeah. So there was a name that popped up from the older movies, and it was uh, let me see, let me get it up here. Um, Rogue One will include a digital recreation of Peter Cushing, who played the iconically what? sinister role of Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. So his name showed That's up on the awesome. casting. On he's like part of the cast, so I think he is going. You guys, to. you guys should check that book out so I can read it. That <laughs> the was, Tarkin book. That was, I think, the first no. one that they put out that was canon, and everything after that's now canon. Yeah, and the uh, basically like the prequel book to uh, Episode Seven. Is coming out either later in September or early October. I want to say it's late September. Oh, nice. but it's like basically like the lead up to Episode Seven. Nice. This is awesome. Good time to live. Yeah. Um, you got to make it to December. A, a few, a few other just real quick things. Um, if you guys are into preacher, they showed some photos of our face and uh, the vampire. What's his name? Uh, you said it and I forgot it. I literally yeah. know nothing of Preacher. It's amazing. The, I the always heard it's amazing. Good, but they, they released some photos and it would like just confirmed for me. It was like, oh, 
Yeah, this is a real thing. Yeah. I kind of keep forgetting about with all the other stuff happening. Uh, or space doesn't look quite as gross as he does in the comics. Yeah, he's still got like the sucking in mouth, but it's not like completely revolting like it is in the Cassidy. comics. Cassidy, Cassidy, that's, it. that's his name. But he looks like on. Yeah, he's point. on point. Yeah, most definitely. So I think the show's gonna be great. It's Seth, Seth Rogen is the main character. Okay, Jesse. I'm, he's the main character. I thought he was just in charge of the show. No, I think he's the main no, character. No, 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 he's, oh, he's, he's just in charge of uh, oh, Dominic. Oh, he, um, got, he got it. Dominic oh, Cooper is uh, Jesse. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> I think he's, he's like the showrunner and like got everything yeah, he running. Got, he was oh, that's like, great. one of the big driving forces to get that to be a show, I yeah. think. It's awesome. I'm, I'm super pumped about it because the books were amazing. So I'm just going to take a shot in the dark and assuming the character, our face, uh, has, his, a, has an ass for a face. His, <laughs> it, his, his face looks like an ass because he tried to kill himself by shooting himself in the face with a shotgun. It didn't take. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's not an ass. It's actually like the sphincter. Yeah. Maybe like yeah. sphincter's face. Like in the comic book, when he talks, he drools and like the way Garth Ennis did his dialogue, it's like, Herderbert, 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 Herderbert. <laughs> <laughs> It is ridiculous. That's it really kind is. of amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the whole book is great. Um, uh, one kind of big thing that was going around was uh, DC has lost like $2 million this year. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't, I, it, they don't seem to be in any sort of like dire straits or anything. Um, they actually responded to that Bleeding Cool article. Yeah, I saw that where uh, DDO and uh, Jim Lee said something about it. Like, yeah, yeah we're going to tweak a couple things, but like, we're not completely wiping slate and going back Because yeah, there was like a big outcry. After that, that they're we're gonna go back to not like taking chances. Yeah. Right. They're going back to meat and potatoes. Is, is Which I mean, I'm super into said. like the current Batman and Superman runs. Yeah, I think I mean I think, I think what's both happening really are good right cool. now, and I'm, it's different, and I like it. But I mean, I can still go back to like the '80s kind of stuff, and like, yeah, I like this a little bit better. But I just don't want them to mess with Batgirl, man. Just, just that that's what the well the article one of the articles I said was, told them to stop Batgirling. Yeah. Because of the just like they success so of, awesome of chances Batgirl, and yeah, and the com like the complete status quo change. Whenever uh, Babs Tar and uh, Brennan Fletcher took it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys have talked about it before, but it's just like the fail on building a complete thing like Marvel did. I think that's a big part of it too. I mean, not they're not going to link the Flash and the Arrow, is what I've heard. To the rest of it, the CW oh, series. Are oh, you talking about the, 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 the shows movies. to the movies? Yeah, 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 but I think yeah. that's that ties back more into like Warner Brothers in general because DC's owned by Warner Brothers, and CW is half fifty percent owned by Warner Brothers, and they control basically everything. They're not quite like Disney and Marvel. I mean, Marvel is owned by Disney, but they're still pretty autonomous and kind of do what they want and make all their own decisions. I think Warner Brothers corporate still has a fair amount of input into pretty much everything DC. And I think it'd be great if we could see those characters on there, but I understand why. Yeah, you know? and it's cool. Like we could still see like Arrow and Flash. They just won't be uh, Stephen Amell and, and oh. what's his because because they have all these. What about uh, Henry Cavill? Uh, what about Henry Cavill? Oh no! I, this is something I had last week, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't read the article and I didn't bring it up in the news, but. Um, he said in an interview that um, everything is connected, right? And so immediately when you read the line, you're like, okay, yeah, all the movies are connected. But he said, it's like, no, everything that is DC is connected. It all falls under one big umbrella. Hinting at maybe a possible multiverse sort of thing. I mean, that's, Bert and I talked about it, but that's the thing that we'll DC like 42 bases, by the time that movie comes out. The, <laughs> the, the, DC bases their whole, that's their whole shtick. Is like multiverse. We have different Earths and that. Yeah, sort of like weird of like Earth Prime in the comics is like this. Right. This is Earth Prime. So I mean, like, it, yeah, they, they, could, they, they could, could literally tie everything that they're doing together. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a completely separate thing, but it could all with. Uh, I feel like the way that they ended the Flash could tie everything together. Oh yeah. When he no, goes yeah, into yeah, the, yeah. you know, that that could be. But apparently, in the Flash, they're like, whenever you get there, it's like, uh, in the future. Like it's already it's already dealing with fallout from whatever happened whenever yeah. they come back or whatever. Yeah. All right, so I thought that was exciting. Well, speaking of Arrow, it really is, yeah, it really is. Uh, if you guys, I don't know if you guys joined me or not. I, don't, I didn't really get any responses, but I did live tweet SummerSlam last Sunday. Yeah, and I, yeah. I watched the uh, Arrow stuff and, uh, with Alan. Stephen Amell wrestled, awesome. and it was freaking awesome. 
he he came out in the hood and everything, <laughs> and he went off the ropes. The dude like jumped off the ropes like I saw onto pictures, the ground, man. man. It, it was awesome. It looked killer. And man. they left it open, and uh, so I don't think they've really squashed that whole storyline with Stardust and in the Arrow. He's gonna be wrestling. And what's neat sure. is mm -hmm. uh, I think they're, they're like the next really big pay per view they have is Survivor Series, and that kind of keys up with the time where season four Arrow starts back up. Oh uh, word! So that just seems like a really good publicity move. Uh, he was great, man. It's really cool to see like super fans being because they he loves he loves wrestling. John Stewart loves wrestling. John Stewart hosted SummerSlam, and Stephen Amell wrestled at SummerSlam. I didn't know that John Stewart was that big of a wrestling Dude, fan. Dude, he's before. a super fan. <laughs> <laughs> There's also had, uh, seen like these huge celebrities that you would never like attach like these fandoms with that person. Like, oh, they're they're like super into it. But he showed up like cool. on on one night and like talked some garbage to uh, Seth Rollins. He's the he's the champion on that show right now. And then like one night on the Daily Show, Seth Rollins showed up on the Daily Show and like started talking shit to him. <laughs> so it started this faux beef or whatever. And then, <laughs> so he showed up on the show a couple times and he was there on uh, John Stewart's last last episode. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just neat to see like like celebrities that are that into it and like not because they do these have these guest hosts and stuff on there throughout the year and half the time it's like for a paycheck or to like promote like whatever bullshit movie they got coming out but then there's like a small handful of them that have watched wrestling their entire life <laughs> and they just they're like oh hey cool I'm a celebrity can I do this and they're like, they're like sweet <laughs> so like can I get involved and it's John Stewart and Stephen Mill really good dudes awesome good stuff uh, only a few more things here, and then we'll wrap up this news segment. Unless anybody got anything else? I got one thing I'm gonna throw in last. Okay, uh, so a few a few other things here. Um, possible Godzilla crossover with Pacific Rim. Oh shit! Yeah, I know, dude. What? <laughs> Why the fuck did you hear that? No, it said Pac three though. Uh, it had Pacific Rim three. Pacific on it. Rim three. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't care if it's Pacific Rim seven. <laughs> it, well, it, I, I can't awesome. even talk. I'm sorry. I don't care because it, well, you know, like Guillermo del Toro was. Uh, he, he's like, you know. You know, awesome that would be with Godzilla and Pacific Rim, and like, you know, he's already like thinking. Yeah, about it'd be it. amazing. So that might be a thing. It'll probably That's come out awesome. the same year. That Godzilla the, versus that. the Jaeger in Pacific Rim Three. Please, please. But the thing is, like, you want to root for Godzilla, but you want to root for the Jaegers too. It's right. Like two good guys. Yeah. It'll probably be like two good guys fighting, and then they'll have to like team up to. You know what I'm saying? Dude. <laughs> my, <laughs> oh my God, that's gonna be so fucking awesome. So yeah, that's gonna be super Please. killer. Um, and uh, what's uh, the deal with the? Have we heard anything about Skull Island recently? Uh, the new Godzilla or Godzilla no, prequel? No, Skull Island's King Kong. King Kong, yeah. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Well, this just—I think it's just called Skull Island. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah. We need some news, guys. We're just, let me get some news. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new King Kong. <laughs> So two more things. Um, the Walking Dead apparently are taking a, a bite from snakes on a plane. Now there's they're gonna do a zombies on a plane special. Oh sweet lord! <laughs> I don't really know how to feel uh, about it. What? Yeah. I don't care. That's yeah, what Walking Dead. Well, the Walking Dead planning zombies on a plane. I'm um, so over the whole. That has anything thing. to do with like the show? Yeah, I, I, it's gonna be like part of that whole. The fear of the Walking Dead stuff. That whole universe. Happened? But it's just like a special. It's just like a one-off. That's that's all it is. I mean, it could be fun for people to enjoy that stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm I mean, sure it'd be entertaining. I, I'm just. I was over the whole zombie thing like five years ago. I just mentioned it because it's like, it seems so ridiculous. That's random. <laughs> you know? So the last but the thing. plane is actually a shark. <laughs> now I'll watch that. That would be awesome. Yeah, I would too. I'll watch that. I would that. watch that. But Sharknado 3 had like, you know, the most cameos. Oh yeah, didn't they have like 30 or something? It was, it was crazy and like some big people I don't even remember. I can't wait for that to drop on Netflix. Uh, Will Wheaton from Star Trek movies. was on there. Yeah. No, he was on the second one. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because I watched okay. it on Netflix like a month ago. Uh, was that the one that was on Sharknado the plane? Sharknado 2, the second one. Was that the one with the plane? Yes, it starts off okay, on a okay. plane. And within 30 seconds, it was like, oh, here's Will Wheaton in the background. And then, like, two seconds later, he dies. He didn't even talk. You just, well, he's on the screen in the background long enough for you to be like, yeah, it's Will Wheaton. Nice. Uh, last thing I got, uh, and this is just because I'm a huge Guardians fan. Of the it's Galaxy? Gonna, it's going to start. February Guardians too. Yeah, I'm so yes. pumped about it, dude. I'm so I'm, yes. I'm so pumped about it. Yeah, like, dude, I'm right there with you. Oh my, oh my gosh, dude. Um, favorite favorite Marvel movie. I, I don't even know if it can one get of the things I'm most pumped about the sequel is we're gonna get 
uh, Awesome Plays Volume 2 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome, I know. Awesome Mix Volume yeah, 2. The soundtrack, yeah. Because you don't know what it is because he puts it in at the end of the movie. You're like, what's on the set? Well, yeah. <laughs> the first song that was on there is the last song on soundtrack. Right, yeah, this is one song, though. Yeah, I know. I know. It's going to be awesome. The whole yeah. the, the whole freaking movie is Everything. amazing. Yeah. I could watch it every day and I would yep. never get tired of it. That's no, awesome. whatever. That's all I got. What, what, what we got last? Bro? Oh, uh, the last thing was um, Joel runs a trivia company that's based here in Florence, and he has a big anniversary coming up. That's right. This uh, well, this is the week. I don't remember exactly what day it was, but this is two years at Southern Hops Brewing Company. So for all of you listening, watching, if you've never been to Southern Hops before. First of all, get reservations because we yep. we packed the house. We had <laughs> we bring it. Bert and I uh, had 24 last week. Yeah, and whenever I started filling in for you guys, what, maybe six, seven months ago? Yeah. I mean, we averaged maybe between 12 and 15 or 16 teams on average. Yeah, and so, I mean, we've been there for two years. We've been having more and more people come, come down and see us. We, I might, I don't know, have something, maybe a cake, ice cream cake, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Throw pies at people. There might be a cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not too, too celebrating, but... uh. You know, we'll it's mention gonna be a, it. It's going to be a pizza party. <laughs> the video said there was going to be cake, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they just walk in, where's cake? No cake. All right. All right, I'm out. Uh, Seriously, though, go. It's super awesome. Uh, if you live in the area, Florence, Southern Hops, great place to hang out. Tri uh, trivia every Thursday night. And, and it's, also, it. it's also a brewing company. Yeah, so, so you yeah. get some sweet yeah, beer. some beers. They, yeah. We thoroughly enjoy their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or last week we got a little bit more uh, tipsy than we probably should have. But, <laughs> you really enjoyed but, uh, it last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this week we kept, kind of kept it even and we're doing a little bit better. I think we're getting more into a groove. But uh, I filled in or took the place of uh, Will. Will who, Croswell. Will Croswell and Joel started this whole endeavor. And he had to move away to Philadelphia for bigger, better opportunities. But and I'm that, hoping he's still going to come back at some point. Hint, hint. Will, if you're watching this, reunion show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Bert, you've been doing a great job so far. I appreciate that, and uh, I appreciate everybody sticking with me through, you know, the little bit of a transition that I had. So we'll get it back and make it bigger and better. We, Bert and I have a few ideas moving forward that we won't announce quite yet. We still have to work them out, but we do have some amazing ideas out there. Hairless cats. <laughs> weird. 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 <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> oh. All right, well, uh, with that, I think we're going to take a quick little break, and we will be right back with our individual topics this week, since we actually have space on our media host to hold the fire on this week, so we got a full show. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thanks.